Hello, welcome to this video of Tomb Raider 3 glitch tutorial. Today is gonna be about Tumper Ruin. Long level, a lot of things that are really cool and new glitches, so let's go right now. So, what you want to do first, you want to sprint with some trajectory I will explain quickly. And you want to jump here, grab, it's important to grab, I will show why. And jump here and grab again. So this is really important to grab that slope because a very simple reason for that is that if you jump so here I made it so I'm really lucky but this jump that I just did is actually really really hard like 90% of the time it won't work 90% of the time that will happen she won't be able to grab the ledge because she won't be high enough so in RTA just sprint jump grab well here I was too much to the left so I couldn't grab console but jump grab climb normally and you will make it every time so in case you didn't know you will be faster in overall in general for example if you if you jump grab a ledge and climb it would be faster if you press the crouch button to climb because for example here she will she won't have to stand up and you will be able to do the jump but here you don't want to do it simple reason is that if you do it that will happen you won't be able to grab the edge so here this is why we don't do it too overall it's faster but here it doesn't work at all so you don't want to do that you just want to climb normally so something i didn't mention in the first video that i will quickly mention when you sprint, if you climb on a step, it will stop your sprinting. Oops, well, here obviously it stops your sprinting, but if you, stand, if you go on a step like this, it will stop your sprinting. So because you need the, the bar to refresh, you won't be able to sprint for a while. So when you start a level, you want to try to avoid those steps to be able to sprint all the way through. If you can't, it's fine, it's just one or two second time loss, so it's not too bad, but... If you can do it, it's good. And it's also a bit practice for sprint. So, you do that, you do that, and then you're gonna do jump twists, because it's slightly faster than taking... If you, you can do a jump forward, but it's slightly faster, because you will have to take a stumble. And we did flare for ladders, because I will explain why. Um, so, you want to do a jump twist like this, so you are able to roll, and go to this corner straight so because we want the glitch on top of this so you need to know that if you jump twist you will make the jump every time so you don't need to worry about that so first corner bug of a game a crouch corner bug of a game i mean so this is pretty simple you go here 45 degrees and you crouch forward and if and that's happening that might happen if you just crouch normally so i will explain what you need to do to avoid that um so if you have a right position on a right angle you can glitch directly so here it doesn't work because you need a specific angle position so that's why i will explain to you the whole thing you need what you what you have to know is it can work this way but it's way harder so what you need to do is you need to crouch so you go here take your angle so important is that your position if this position it won't work you will go through like this without glitching so you need to let a little space between the corner on Lara's left feet and then you then you take 45 degree angle you crouch and when you press forward what you're gonna have to do is gonna have to hold the roll like this and if you hold roll you will make it every time you will she will roll to the edge and do like a roll recovery or whatever and you will make it every time you, you won't fall so this is the first thing so this is what you want to do so i recommend doing that strat there is a quick there is a slightly faster way of doing that i'm going to show you i recommend for people beginning to do that because the other one will be really it's not hard but when you start you don't want to try to press a lot of buttons and it includes the flare button so that's it just crouch forward old roll and you will make it every time so you can 
So the hardest way is to do what we what we call a PFC. So I showed you it's this perpetual flag cancel. And you want to do that when you do the glitch. So what you do is you do like this, like this, you crouch, and when you press forward, what you're going to do is you're going to press forward on roll to make the glitch. And when you're glitching, you want to also hold the flare button like this. And as you can see, you get a perpetual flare console. So that's useful because then you can flare console here and keep going. If you don't, you will lose one or two seconds just doing a roll or whatever like this. Up like this, for example. So this is slightly slower. So this is what you want to do is you want the faster strat. Just take the angle, crouch, forward, roll and flare and you keep going jump here jump here and here you want just crouch one two three four step crouch step sound uh steps on crouch sound so i'm gonna explain to you something quickly so here for example lara is not getting up because she's not fully through the crouch space but i am in the right position to be able because in theory i would have to press forward once more so she has another crouch animation and then she will be able to get up but because tomb raider 3 is how it's done if you press jump the guns button she will be able to get up the reason is i think that it's because if when you're in a crouch situation you can pressing gun button get to this position because you can draw guns so how it works is that when she does that she moves slightly forward and because she moves slightly forward we are at the very limit where she can get up or not so if you press the gun button she will go slightly forward and be able to get up so this is how it works so how you do it you can do it one two three four five and get up but this is slightly sore the best way is to do one two three four press the gun button and you will be able to get up quickly so that's basically it so up one last thing you need to know is that you can perpetual flag console getting up to get up faster so i think i explained that in the introduction so that's what we're gonna do here so you press the gun button and immediately you hold the flare button and she will be able to get up faster and have a perpetual flare console. And then you go here and do a roll, it's important because if you don't you will slide on the slope. So this is this is a lot. I'm mentioning it quickly right now because this is the start of the game and etc. So I'm be I'm gonna be about a bit about sequence on small stuff like this, but eventually I won't explain a lot out. So you press um, gun flare button and you'll be in perpetual flare console situation, and you want to immediately uh, sprint and do a dive roll like this. So you wait a bit. And when you're about to do to go to the slope you just dive roll and you will get here and won't have to do a slide down on a standing jump and etc um <clears throat> so something i need to mention also that is going to be very important because you might be confused is that there are there is a snake here and later in the level i will tell you that we need to kill everything in the level every active entities so that means enemies i don't kill the snake here because when i'm going to go far away from him he's gonna put back to sleep so that's why i don't kill it because if i go away enough you can as you can see he's go back to sleep so he's not active entity anymore <clears throat> so that's why i don't need to kill the snake when in a position that i will say that you need to kill every enemies so anyway, you want to sprint, do a dive roll here. You want to keep sprinting here, avoid another snake here. 
and you want to go to the right of the slope and wait. And if you have a perpetual flag console, you can jump whenever you want, kinda, and you will make it. For example, here. For example, here I will need a, a flare, but because I'm perpetual flag console, it's fine. But if you don't have a perpetual flare console because you can't do it or you forgot or whatever, you just need to jump. Oops, wow. You need to jump slightly later, just before the slope ends, and you will hit the ceiling and be able to keep it going. So, push that block. <coughs> Sorry. And go to the scratch. One, two, three, four, gun. To be able to get up faster, uh, to be able to get up before, and here you don't want to perpetual flag console because you will need to, you will need to grab at some point, so it will be faster to not perpetual flag console here. So here it's important to not activate the Shiva statue, which is here. So the the, the trigger for this is here. It's this tile, and then the whole line over here, I think. So you want to avoid to step there. So what you want to do is simple. You want to go here. And then you're going to do this sequence like this. This is really not complicated. Just dive roll, j sprint and dive roll right before you reach the thing. The steps. You grab. You do the side flip thing. You pull the lever. You do another side flip. And you go here. And then you're going to try to jump really late here. Oh, uh, jump. Yeah, jump, sorry, relay here and try to cut the corner because you're gonna get in sand and this is really slow. So you want to get in the sand as less as possible. So this is why you cut the corner and try to jump late. So once and last time for the full sequence, dive roll here, up, up, pull the lever, another side step, side flip, climb, try to sprint as long as you can and just jump at the last time as you can and you will be able to make it so you can sprint way more than i did i just wanted to show you the safe situations because when you start you will have trouble knowing when you have to stop sprinting so here i did it early to show you that there is some time this is lenient it's better to lose like one or two seconds of sprinting but going in the sand directly so because if you sprint too much you won't be able to make the jump when you climb up you just go here do a roll and you will eat you will try to aim at the corner to be able to keep running the reason is that if you don't that will happen and also if you if you, so this is the worst case and in some games you can just get a full stumble uh if you are if you don't aim at the corner so that's why i do that try to get a corner boost kind of and you won't get stumble never and then what you want to do is you want to kill you want to sprint and kill that monkey so as you can see that monkey dies very fast because i didn't say it yet but i'm using japanese version and japanese version for pc has some particularity the most important one is that you um, you have double power with your weapons, except for grenade launcher and rocket launcher. So that means that your pistols are twice as powerful as usual. So if you are used, if you're not using the Japanese version, the speedrun this tutorial will be exactly the same, except that you will have more pickups to take because you will need more ammo to kill the enemy. And I will tell you about it when we will skip a pickup or whatever. And just some overall strats with which will be faster, just killing enemies, Shiva statue later, and etc. So beside that, it's exactly the same game. So up. So you do this, this, you kill that monkey. So if you are not confident with med, you can pick up the med here. I don't recommend it too much because it will kind of break your sequence because there is a sequence you need to know about this place. So you want to sprint, kill that guy, pull that lever, and if you just do it in one motion, you will get a drain on my die like this. 
So that's an issue because there is no way except slightly waiting to if you get that perfect sequence. So here it doesn't matter if you get perfect sequence. So for example here, if I get perfect sequence, I wait a bit before doing the sidestep here, side flip, and then I get a better sequence and I don't die. If you get a perfect sequence, you will die every time if you don't wait. So that's basically how it does, how it works. So here I did it too fast, for example. Up. So here I didn't die because I'm lucky, but I'm drained a lot. And you want to avoid that. So. <coughs> Um, so the best way to know, so let's say your sequence is completely fucked up. <coughs> so if, you, when do you have to know when you have to side flip from here? Because if your sequence is fucked up, if you pick up the med or whatever, you might not know when to side flip from this place. To not get drained so you need to listen to the slice song here and you need to jump um a bit after you hear the song up like this and here it should work i think yeah that's that's a song clip so it's hard to, to explain for me because my English is just god awful, but for example, if you don't know where you are right now, let's say whatever, something happened, pull the lever, you can hear it, bloom, 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 well, that's not the sound at all, but <laughs> for you to spot it, you want to jump right after you hear it, like this. And you will barely take any damage. So this is the visual, the song clue you want. So because what I'm saying that because what will happen if you don't use Japanese, that guy might troll you because you will go over him and you won't be able to kill him fully. So you will have to roll, kill him, and then you will be off a sequence. That's why I'm explaining that. And if you get the perfect sequence, you just, it's pretty easy, you just kill it. If you get perfect sequence, you'll stumble, pull lever, you wait slightly until the camera is close to Lara, like this, up, then you side flip, and you would be able to make it, like this. So from this place, you need to go until, you need to sprint until your sprint is almost low, and at zero I mean and you want to do a dive roll and you want to jump here and kill that monkey kill that monkey on the right so there is one monkey on the left one on the right you can skip trigger but I don't want you that right now because it will be slower if you don't draw it but basically that's the best right if you go to the right one before and then to the left one it's not the best situation it's not the best solution because rng will be a bit of a mess sometime for the left one so you want to kill the one on the left first to be efficient and if you try to be too efficient that will happen you will miss him so you have to go back to him so up. kill it go to the right kill it again you want to sprint or do running jumps if you don't like sprinting and pull that lever so we will have to kill you have to kill the monkeys before and these two monkeys absolutely if you want to do a glitch later so this is important that you kill them so when you do a corner bug simple one you just go here same position as before 45 degree roughly crouch forward and you're good to go and then if your position is right, you can roll immediately, grab, and pull that lever. So there is a strat you can do here to avoid pulling those two levers I'm going to pull. I'm not going to explain it because I think this is too complicated for beginners. This is probably too complicated, actually. 
So just go here, pull the levers, and if you're willing to learn the trapdoor skip, just <laughs> watch videos and analyze inputs and etc. I won't explain it because this is a bit too hard, in my opinion, when you start. So, and if you're an advanced player about that game that want to do trapdoor skip, well. Just watch videos. There are also two videos made by Whoops and Tails Gaming showing different cases about that glitch that will really help you understand everything. So I will drop those two links in the description and that's it. <clears throat> so pull those two lever and uh, you want to merge. And then you have two options, three options actually. You can try to get what we call an M-Man jump here. So basically an M-Man jump is a jump that you don't need to grab where you're supposed to grab. So for example, it won't work, but you won't need to grab. The purpose is to um, avoid climbing. And to do that, you need to, for example, here it might work. Yeah, so here it works. So you, you notice it's that there is this step here. And just if you jump and you see that Lara is a bit in the air, when she jumps like this, if you curve a bit your jump, you will be able to make an M-Man here. So this is this is not easy, but this is not too hard either if you know how to do it. So you just do here. And if you miss it, for example, here, I completely saw that Lara wasn't a bit in the air when she does that, starting that jump. So what I did is I just grab and keep going. So but that costs almost nothing trying it. So if you, you're trying it and if you don't get it, you grab. This is important when you try to do a man's, especially this one. This is important that you curve your jump to make it. Because if you don't curve your jump, generally, even if you get a good position, you will still not make it. I will try to show you what will happen. That will happen. So this, unless you have a really big a man, like she's almost flying, you won't be able to, you, it's better to just curve a bit and you will make it easier. So there is another strat for it, which is faster than climbing and it's actually easy, but it's slower than the man. So you just sprint there, jump here, jump again, and you'll be in this position. And you'll be able to side flip and go to that lever. So I don't know if I say it. I hope I did. Yeah, okay. So pick the one you prefer. This one is actually easy. You want you don't want to sight to do a twist like this. Because if you do a twist like this, there is a risk that that will happen. Okay, it didn't happen. But if you jump at the right timing, you will fall in the water still if you do a twist. Ah, trying to get it, but I can't. But anyway, you have to know that it can happen. And if you just if you just jump forward, you will have no problem. You will make it every time like this. So the sequence is pretty easy. And you get to leave. So then there is a time door, which is really easy. So what you want to do, you want to uh, step back like this and do a running jump here over the ceiling to avoid a stumble. Take that crystal because it will give you health. And if you have enough health already, like if you're already full, which is not my case, but if you are already full, just go here and do the same thing and it will be a bit faster. But if you need the health like I just do, well, you don't really need to, but when you start, you want to be safe. Just jump here, take the crystals, sprint a bit if you can and keep going. So if you miss it, for example, you do this, you have to know that it's okay. You just do it again and you will still have time to make to the door. It's not a problem. Then you go sprinting to this. Then it's a bit, it's a bit not boring, but it's, there is nothing to talk about here. Just sprint, get to the key. You want to sprint, use the door to not bump anywhere. And here you do a dive, it's important to do a dive and to aim where I do aim. 
it's not too precise so don't need to show it actually but if you're just completely do the dive to the right or to the left you might need it it will be slower to get there but generally it's fine then you sprint here you wait until she can't go for her anymore do a standing jump a running jump another running jump to get here try to sprint and then get a dive roll here it just explaining quickly and roll here taking the flares that you will need soon so this is this looks like and don't explain much things but these are sequences that you will get used to it later and because this is a really long level I am gonna pass a bit over some sequence that are relatively easy like this one or just lose one second if you don't get it because I consider that it will be I will explain more in detail when we'll get to some other level that are not 12 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever so once you get the flare pack what you want to do is you have two sequences you can yolo it like this up like this you will lose a bit of health in general sometimes you don't it depends so how do you do that you just do a running jump and you just keep running without jumping until you hit the step and then you do and then you do a jump so you want to press jump right after you hit the step like this and of course you jump diagonally you don't jump to the middle of the boulder so that's pretty easy and that's the fastest way probably so as you can see you can get no damage or if you don't feel like it you can just up do this wait for a bit and do a dive here so this is both are easy both are fine pick the one you want up up so if you jump too early that will happen so you need to delay for half a second a second your dive and that's gonna be it up, up, and you keep going and then you want to sprint from this style to avoid the slice here sprint here get to this crotch before the boulder arrive press the draw buttons to avoid having an extra crouch and this is important that i mentioned that we don't take that path that might seem slightly slow faster because you spawn um please guys what are you doing because you avoid spawning uh, a monkey that you will need to kill so we that's why you don't do it oops well whatever so we need a whole sequence so if you if you don't have a lot of health after this spot like for something like a quarter or whatever you have a safe crystal soon so a uh, health crystal soon so don't worry it's fine anyway you climb here try to do a dive roll here kill those two monkeys so you can do it on the way in japanese version in uh, european version you will need to stop and roll probably because you will need a completely perfect monkey shot so that's not happening too much so this is a crystal i mentioned if you need help and then this is the glitch we need to talk about so this is what we call um a flare trigger glitch so if you first of all if you want to pick up a med this is a better med to pick up by the way so this is a better med to pick up than the previous one because you don't have any sequence or whatever to cut so if you want to, to take a small mate, take this one. So yeah, so that's called um, uh, Flare Triggerberg. So I'm going to show you first the state of the level. So if you don't do the glitch or whatever, what will happen is that... Oops, I need to go there to open the door. Oops, sorry about that song. Hope it goes away come on oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry about that <laughs> hope it goes away i don't know what's happening so what's happening is to get the second key what's happening is you need to pull that lever problem is that pool is empty so we need to fill it 
and if you want to fill it we will have to go over there go uh do some block pushing for 25 seconds this is pretty long basically it will it will take two minutes to um, fill the pool and then be able to go there but what we can do is we can fill the pool by doing this glitch so this glitch requires look to kill every enemies in the area so it, it, it needs to be no enemies in the area around so how does that work this is pretty simple you need to draw a flare drop it in this specific tile get down try to not die obviously and you need to go into a corner so we choose this one for particular for uh, route reasons so you just go in a corner press right undo it, undo it and the glitch is done so i'm going to show you there is you can also do the corner bug like this but you will lose health dropping so that's why we prefer and also you will stumble so we prefer just doing that that and keep going and so by doing that what it will do is it will fill the pool so the reason it works is that the game has some priorities depending of what's in the map what's is not on the map and etc so the highest priority is lara obviously so if lara is somewhere and you want to flip map you are supposed for example if if i am if i am here and i didn't do the flag glitch the game would think i am down normally so it wouldn't fill the pool but if i draw a flare at this time the game and i go into a wall for even a second or a frame what will happen is the game will think that the flare is lara basically that's how it works it works because there is nothing on the map anymore except the flare so because there is nothing else active except the flare even lara is not on the map so the game thinks that the flare is Lara, basically. So we drop it of a specific tile because this tile fills the pool. And then we drop down. So how it works is that we drop the flare, we get down. So the pool is still not empty. But when we enter the corner, the game think that uh, we are at the placement where the flare is so it's filling the pool and then we can do whatever we want but the 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 flip map won't happen until we hit another trigger which doesn't happen in a rod so that's basically how it's done i hope it was clear enough there will be a couple more that we will see later but i will explain i will show you exactly how it's done it's important also that you go in the corner quickly because the reason is if a flare run out and you go in the corner, it, the glitch won't work. So this is important that you do it quick enough. But there is plenty of time for this one. For this one, it's actually pretty lenient. So you just draw the flare. And from this point here, you have 30 seconds to get down and go in the corner. So because we have 30 seconds, we can use that key that we will have to use anyway and then we'll be in the perfect spot to just step back and set the corner and enter in it so even if i miss it like this i will still have time to make the glitch don't worry so don't worry it's this one is really actually easy so don't don't worry about that so you have 30 seconds so you can hear the flare running out so don't worry if you miss it once or even twice it it will be done the most important is that you enter full in corner like if you if you are here oops if you are here you just do this do this and this the glitch might not work you need to really you, you need to press forward to enter fully in the corner and then press right and keep going so this is important so one last time and then i'll be done with it because it's actually the theory the explanation is actually a bit confusing but make doing the glitch is actually pretty easy so you drop at this spot here up drop down without dying 
use the key, blah blah blah, enter that corner, and you'll be good. And then the glitch happened. So that's that saved two minutes, so this is really important for you to know to do that. So this has to be this style, so it's important for you that to know that if you drop the flare here, for example, this will not this will not work. So what you want to do is when you arrive, you arrive here, be on the roughly in the middle of the tile against the wall, draw your weapons and keep going, and it will be always on the right tile. So this is the best way to set it up for the position of the flare. So here, here, up. Try to get. Oops, not like this. <laughs> So you, you want to get down, try to not die and lose a lot of health, and then we are pretty much done with this part of the level because the rest will just be getting the key. So you just go in the corner, down here, up, and keep going. Then you just want to sprint and pull those two lever. So don't worry. It's normal that even if you activate Shivas or enemies, that the glitch still works. Because most important is when you glitch in the wall, there has to be no active enemies. So it's important that it's only when you glitch into the wall, uh, into the, the corner, that there is no enemy. Then you can trigger whatever you want. It doesn't matter. So yeah, then the pool is filled. So you can pull the lever, pick up the key, there is absolutely nothing to say about that. You can glitch a flare here, but it's not really important because uh, you will need it for one frame uh, flare console, so it doesn't really matter. No, won't even show it because my save is too far. And I forgot to do it. And then you want to go here and use the key. And if you're lucky, Shiva won't hit you. And if you're lucky, Shiva will completely destroy you. So it's up to the RNG. And important, if you want to do the setup that I will show you, you need to climb. Oops, you need to climb from this style. You need to climb from the right of a ladder. You don't want to climb here. I will show you why. So you want to go here. Up. Also, it's important this for this ladder that you don't climb pressing action and forward, because what can happen is maybe that. Okay, so here it worked, but sometimes what will happen is she will grab lower. She will she will grab here or even here, and it will make you lose damage because actually the spike wall is pretty tiny. Uh, uh, spread tight timing sorry so the, the best way to to climb the ladder what to grab the ladder is to go against it press jump and grab it and you will always grab at the higher point so this is important because if you don't do that you might get some damage so once it's done you have a glitch which is really hard well it's not really too hard but you have a glitch that is quite hard if you don't use setups so this you're gonna have to do a rolling corner bug which is this one like this so this is what you have to do so you can either yolo it or use a setup first i'm gonna show you how to yolo it so if you want to yolo it you want to basically roughly to get to this position so Lara's left feet is almost at the corner. You need to let a bit of space. And then you need to line up properly. And if you got the right angle, you just need to roll. So how do you get the right angle? So my visual point is... Uh, I'm going to try to show you. Oops. Give me a second to add here. Because for some reason, for Tomb Raider 3, I can't show you. Um, uh, I can't show my cursor for some reason. I will try to fix it at some point. But yeah. So, 
on the top left of the screen right now there is two two dark uh, vertical lines that's you probably can see so that is my vi my visual point what i do is i turn until until the camera is past it and once it's past it i'm going to keep turning left until the camera changes roughly like this and then it means my angle is right if i get the right position so here because i'm generally my position is this one it's a bit more on the left so it works with this position generally so if i do what i said like this oops no 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 it didn't cha it changed before actually so i turn once it's past it there is there has been the change actually like this up up this is a moment where i have to roll from my position so this is my visual point <coughs> and you can take the one you want with that position the position is important because for example it works with this position every time but thing is oops well i guess my position was slightly off here the thing is if you are on the more on the right like this you will need a different um, you will need a different visual spot because your position change will depend your visual point so for example here i'm more on the left so that means i need to be more on the right well maybe not that right but so for example here i need to be a bit a bit before that so that's how i that's my visual point so <clears throat> if i am completely on the left of a block i need to be a bit before the camera change so here it was even not enough but so you need to deal with cases so i'm not gonna enter too much to detail just giving you my idea how i do it because this is really hard so you will want to find your own visual point if you yellow it because if you yellow it the only reason to yellow it is to get optimized time so that's why i won't pass too much about it <clears throat> but with practice you will realize different position we mean that setup or that setup so that's what i want to do so that's basically what's done here wait for the change so here i went to to watch on it up oops well whatever <laughs> but you, i guess you see you saw what i meant up like this so when you are in this flicker position what you need to do is you need to press uh forward press left i think and roll and when you will get out you will immediately you will be able to get out and you will immediately roll too so now if you want to do the setup so the setup is pretty easy you just need to be uh let me show you just need to be here or at the right of here and it will work it's better to be here in my opinion because it's, you are sure to make it but yeah so when you climb what you will do is simple you will just uh jump forward like this running jump then two side step right then you will crouch forward crush one to the left to be 45 degree get back sidestep to be sure sidestep right to be sure to be against the wall and roll so here it might not work yeah okay because maybe i didn't do it too fast it's it kind of need to be in one motion if you want to make it so here jump side flip side flip crouch turn up and roll well actually oh, maybe maybe put starting i'm not using the setup so maybe you have to be a bit more left actually so yeah actually if you want to be a bit more left than that so you want to be here or here yeah okay so the starting position is to be here or, or right or here so the setup is the same because it's the same setup crouch turn up uh sidestep and roll and you will make it every time so this is pretty simple one last time running jump two side flip 
crouch forward, left, sidestep, roll, and make it every time. So this is pretty easy. And when you pull that lever, delay a bit to your jump to make it, and do another one, pull a flare, and do a flare console here, and pull that block here. So something you need to know is that you have to do things in that order. You have to do things in that order. You can't, well, because some people might be tempted, and I tried that actually when I was really bad and I didn't want to do that corner bag, and there was no setup for it. I wanted to pull that block, jump here, and jump again here to avoid doing the corner bag. But the thing is, if you pull the block before pulling those two lever, it won't open the door. If you pull, if you pull the two levers and pull the block before that, what you will need to do is you will need to push and pull the block again. So the reason of that is that is the flip map you did previously. The flip map you did previously messed up a bit the level, and then you have to do that room in that order if you want to do it efficiently so this is something i need to mention because some people might want to do that but you can't do that uh blah 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 yeah so we pull that block so also it's not important to kill monkeys anymore just need to show you things calmly so then you have two ways of doing the next part so you can do mm, kind of normal way so you just go here and then jump here wait for a fire and keep going or there is a glitch you can do which is pretty cool you can do this you just sprint i'm at the boulder here and go through the door so this is not too hard but this is not too easy either so you need to sprint and when you get close to the door like this well a bit later actually from here what you will do is you try to aim between the between the boulder and the door itself like this so you don't want to glitch um you don't want to glitch here you don't want to glitch through here because you can't glitch through here you want to glitch here well i can't do it without sprinting i think actually i'm not sure i never tried but oh yeah actually you can but it's it's easier with sprinting, I think. So you want to glitch between the boulder and the door, and not between the door and the wall. That's important to, to know. Once you know that, it's actually pretty easy. And you just sprint. I'm left here, and you'll be able to keep going, and you avoid a fire circle. A fire circle. Cycle, sorry. <laughs> I can't even speak anymore, sorry. So that's pretty much it. And if you fail it somehow like this, you can just jump here and sometime you will still glitch and sometime you will just get in that hole and you will do the old strat so that's not too bad so whatever you do you want to go here climb here to trigger that shiva get back down and prepare for the fight so this fight will be shorter if you use japanese version because shiva has less health well, you shot them, you kill them twice as fast, twice faster. Yeah, as I said, I can't speak anymore, so it doesn't matter. But I guess you know what I meant. But the the way of killing them is actually the same. So you just shot it and wait until it comes. Step back, step back when he's trying to slice through, and then repeat the operations. Go forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. So here, I messed up because I was explaining, so I paused, so it wasn't too good, but step back, step back, forward, back, forward, up, and do the same with this guy. So this is the best way to kill it. So I realize now that for a non-Japanese version, what you want to do, actually, because 
you won't be able to kill the Shiva on the right before the Shiva on the left comes to you. What you want to do is you want to sprint here and kill the Shiva on the left first. Then go here, up there, and trigger the second Shiva. So this is the only difference between Japanese and this version. Uh, Japanese and European version. So this is the way to kill it. To kill them. It's actually pretty easy, so... Just want to step back just before they slice you, and then you come back close to them. And then it's pretty much done. Pick up those two banana. And if you get a double, it's good. If you don't get it, it's completely fine, to be honest. Oops. Try to jump here. And then you have to know that you need to, if you start from the from this uh, keyhole, you need to pick up this one. So you need to have a menuing if you start from the left. And I'm prepared to pull a flare immediately on jump twist. Roll here, flare console, and keep press sprinting until there, do a jump, and climb here. And this is almost the end of the level, the rest is actually fairly simple. So I'm gonna do it and explain it pretty quick. So here you jump twist, you do another jump here. So why do I jump here? Because I can't sprint because there's step. Basically you want to, where there is step, you want, actually a couple of steps I mean, you want to jump rather than sprinting in general. Then you can sprint here. And then you can enter this dark place. So you just enter it, sprint here where there is a lever, and pull another lever here, and go here. So if you're not confident at all, and I can understand you, you can pull a flare. You have enough flare to do that, so from this point, you have enough flare to do that. Because you picked up one up, you picked a flare pack before, so that's fine. So yeah, pull that lever, pull that lever. One quick and easy way to get out of its place, by the way, because I see some people doing this. For example, he up, stumble, and go forward and pick a key. There is a really easy way to pick up a key a bit faster. Just stay on the left here and come back to the right. And you will be able to pick up immediately without stopping. Slightly faster and this is really easy. So it's really worth to do it. And then you want to grab here. So if, if you are using a flare, you can just climb crouching and flare console here to save a couple of frames if you use a flare. If you don't have a flare, it, you don't do it, it doesn't matter. Pick up that key, insert those two key. So you insert those key before picking up the last one because the Shiva is coming to you. And because of that, if you insert those two key before, you won't need to, to, you, to, um, you won't need to do it later when Shiva will be close and he will be able to wreck you. So this is a bit to save health and Shiva RNG to be doing that. That's it. And then you have currents. You want to go like this. So this current is a bit weird. Like, for example, you don't want to do like this, for example, because this is slow. It will work, but this is slow. So if you want to go left or right, what you want to do is you want to have an angle roughly like this compared to the current. So for example, like this, to be efficient. Well, actually, more. Well, I will show it to you after the lever. But where you want to go is you want to go here, roughly. You don't want to fight the current when you drop down, you just want to go to the lever, so that's fine. And once you pull the first lever, if you want to go the other side, the best way is not to do this, like this, because that won't work, as you can see. 
you have to be a bit more diagonal than that. You need to be like this. You need to be like this. And this will be faster. So this is a bit weird, but this is this is the best way of doing it. I never completely understand that current, but if you are roughly that direction, it will work every time. So you don't want to be too much parallel to it, but you don't also want to be like this, perpendicular, because that will happen. So you want to be 45 degrees roughly. Up, like this. This. And then you pull the next lever, and the level is done. Nothing technical remaining. Up. Get that key, climb here. Spring to this keyhole and use it. And Shiva will normally be far away. It will be it will be away enough generally so that you can use the key safely. And then step back and go here. So like 99% of the time you will have this. So you won't be worried with a Shiva. And then you try to jump on this block. And if you can't, you just do that. Jump here and finish Temple Ruins. So that was Temple Ruins. Next level is going to be uh, River Ganges, which is going to be pretty short. But there will be a lot to, to talk about. So that's it. If you have any question, as usual, commentary section, you can ask. Watch the description if you want, saves and etc. And thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.